Happy 12 days of Stitch Miss, friends. My name is Carrie. This is Tiger Lily Designs. Welcome to Stitch Miss Day 12. It is here, it is the finale, it is the end of the 12 days of Stitchmas. Are you sad? Don't be sad, it's gonna be great. We're gonna have one more day of super, super fun. I've got two small businesses for you, all the ovens to open. We're finally gonna see the keeper that's in the Tiger Lily Avent box, plus my other three goodies of fun. And let's just go ahead and dive in, shall we? So first, today's featured small business. Business is Earth and Impress. They are an indie dyed company up in Connecticut. And the person behind it all is Carrie. Carrie went and got her bachelor's degree in fine arts. So playing with color is just comes naturally to her. She loves it. She's inspired by everything from nature to pop culture. And in the summer of 2020, she decided to open up her yarn dyeing business. And the, the rest is history. So now she says she finally has her dream job. And she is making some beautiful yarn. So let me tap, pop you over to her Etsy shop. Here she is on Etsy. Like I said, she's up in Connecticut. Her name is Carrie. And right now she's got 187 gorgeous yarns for you to choose from. I'm telling you, there is something for everyone. So it is organized um, by color. And if you drill into her size, so she's got sets, speckles, tonals, holiday, and then just general marketplace. The general marketplace are her other odds and ends, her, her bits and bobs. She does do stitch markers. She just loves, she makes them for herself. And so she shares um, what she makes with her friends. So if you go into the holiday and seasonal yarn, here we are in, you know, we're going to look at some of the Christmas fun. So what you do is you drill into each, look at these gorgeous, her speckles, her tones, her, her color, her sense of color, obviously with the fine arts degree, she has it mastered. So let's just look like here's peppermint bark. So you drill into one of her options. And you see the color, you see the yarn in lots of different ways she shares with you. But then you come over here to wait and you can choose. Now, some of them only have sock and DK, but then also some of them, let's just see if I can find one. Nope, that's just sock and DK. Some of them also, she does worsted and she does different weights. So what you need to do, and she's always at the dye pods, always ready to go, always ready to make you a sweater's quantity of yarn. So if you go into her tonals, do you not see some squishy, yummy sweaters here? Are you going to cast on for the new year? I'm trying to pick which one I want to do. Um, so many gorgeous ones, just bright and fun and tonals so many gorgeous colors. So let's just drill into this drive-in theater. There we go. Okay. So here we have mohair, single sock, classic sock, tweed DK, or natural DK. Now, and so she shows you each one in the natural DK. There's the tweed DK. So she's got so many things to choose from in her Etsy shop. I'm sure there is something for everyone. The other thing that I think is super fun is she has put together some really fun mini skein sets. So they're great for not only just gifting, adding to your mini skein collection, making a stripe something fun out of a little core, core coordinated mini skein set. I love this tis the season set, which is adorable. She also has a nutcracker set and a cozy crazy nights set, a gorgeous couple sock sets. So here's a bobble sock set. It's an adorable kind of twist on a Christmas sock. So I do want to also bring you over to Carrie's Instagram, which is super fun to follow. She's a small batch dyer up in Connecticut. Like I said, she is always on here. I Okay, so let me show you. So here she is showing you her holiday mini sets. So that's the um, 
crazy nice set. And then she's going to switch and show us, look at those gorgeous colors. The Tis the Season little five skeins mini set. It is so fun. And then there's the Nutcracker set. So like I said, she is on here. She is so cute. And she's got, she's posting. Okay, so this is something she added about a week ago. She says, I feel the need for tweed. Okay, so when you see this, do you see one that screams Tiger Lily? Yeah, yeah, me too. See this hot pink right here? I think this is going to be one of my my New Year sweat, sweater cast-ons in the tweed. I think I'm going to be reaching out to Carrie and seeing if I can get a sweater's quantity of that gorgeous DK tweed in Tiger Lily pink. I don't know what she calls it, but that's what I'm calling it. It is gorgeous. So here she is, Carrie, right here. I just want to show you the woman behind it all. She was at a... Um, pop-up trunk show at in one of her local yarn shops. So I hope you go and give Carrie some love. She has given us a coupon code. If you use the code stitchmiss23, you get 15% off in for your order until January 15th. So let me show you some of the squishy yarn she sent us in person. Doesn't Carrie have some gorgeous yarns to choose from? Oh my gosh, so many gorgeous colors. And I love when she's able to utilize her degree and put it into all the colors and the theory and the th you can just tell, right? That she knows what she's doing. So she did send us some pretty squishy yarn for me to share with you and show you some of the colorways in person. So this one is called Hoodies and Bonfires. It is classic sock. So, so fun. Look at those colors. It is just like fall in a squishy yarn. So, so pretty. Her D, her classic sock is 75% superwash, 25% nylon, and is 463 yards for the 100 gram sock. Another colorway that she sent us is her classic sock. This is frosted holly berries. So pretty. It is like a mauvey, dusty, rosy pink mixed mixed in with some speckles i love a good speckle so i love these one skein you know special skeins that you can make socks or a muscle blur hat or lots of options there are so many youtubers i've actually been binging that show one skein wonder projects that's a gorgeous one for it and this one is super super fun and bright and this one's called see me now like see like under the sea Oh, look at those fun, bright, springy, summery, oceany colors. Pinks and neon greens and teals and purples. All the super gorgeous colors. So thank you so much, Carrie. So I hope you give her shop a follow. Check it out. See if there's something you want to get up. Like I said, I might be... We'll see if I get myself a sweater's quantity of that gorgeous Tiger Lily pink tweed. So I hope you utilize her coupon code, stitchmiss 23 And thank you, Carrie. So let's move on to business number two. Richard Small Business is Fab Shabby Rose. Fab Shabby Rose is a project bag maker owned by Carolyn. Carolyn is a retired grandma of 10 grandchildren. So fantastic. Three daughters, three son-in-laws, and 10 grandchildren. She's a quilter, a crafter, a dollhouse, miniature maker, and a collector. A few years ago, she started to cross-stitch, and as many as, as, as of us can relate, we wanted a pretty fancy bag to hold our of her projects. So she started to create her own project bags, and from then, she decided to start selling them. It's kind of to help her, you know, have fun with her hobby. So here we are on her Etsy shop and she has some gorgeous bags to choose from. So she has 44 bags right now in her shop. So many, like I said, she's a vinyl front project bag maker. So you have the traditional vinyl front and then it, all of her sets come with a floss keep vinyl front. It's a foam back bag that she does do a, put a little bit of quilting on it to give you the stability. Each bag is pre-made or each bag is made when they're ordered meaning it's not ready to ship right this second but she she promises within a week that your bag will ship out so it says right here that she has 10 left that means she has the fabric for 10 they're not ready to go but she does so she's ready to go on her sewing machine they measure 11 and a half by 13 inches and she uses all cotton fabric made in her smoke-free and pet-free home 
So she does have, like I said, 44 different gorgeous fabrics to choose from. Lots of Christmas and seasonal ones. Here's a pretty snow globe. That's so fun. Then we drill down. She's got some pumpkins left over from the Halloween season. Some Teresa Kogut Christmas fun. Look at this little pink. Is this gingerbreads? Yes. That's adorable. Her tiny house. Christmas tiny houses. Fun dragon fruit. Like I said, they come with all the, the coordinating floss keep that comes with them. Santa, bees. Oh, here's a strawberry one. So fun. So there is a little something for everyone. So that way when you kit up your bag, your project can coordinate with your bag. I know I love to do that. So she has lots of options, 4th of July. Look at these sweet little bicycles, reindeer, camping. So her family does love to camp, and that's why she loves cross-stitching because it's something that she can take along with her. So let me go ahead and switch gears and show you some of the bags that Carolyn has sent us in person. Doesn't Carolyn have some gorgeous options for vinyl front bags to choose from? Now she has sent us a sweet little package of three of her project bags so I can show you some of the fabrics up close, personal, in so fun. Okay. Like I said, I didn't open these until right now. So you get my perfect. Oh, so pretty. Okay. So this is the first one I just pulled out. It is a gorgeous. Remember these are 11 and a half by 13. So the great, fantastic side. It is foam. She does the quilting little lines just to give it some stability, which is super fun. Nice top stitch all around vinyl front gives you this beautiful um, fabric drawstring on the nice chunky zippers. Love that. She's got her little tag right here that says Fab Shabby Rose. And here is her card. And then inside is also another foam. It is foam. Her floss keep. And this one's got a little fanny doodah with a snap closure. So, so fun. So this is a beautiful 4th of July. This is the Teresa Kogut patriotic line with her salt boxes and the flags and the guys. And those are fun. This is another gorgeous one. So this is a Jane Austen fabric, I think, by... We're going to test my fabric. I think it's Riley Blake does this Jane Austen fabric line. So, so fun. Beautiful quilting. Again, just you can see the swirl is down the line. Nice, pretty, quality, handmade. Um, sweet little floss keep. Open this one up and it's got a blue felt needle holder with a um, pinking sheer tab edge. And that pops right in, again, with the nice coordinating fabric pull. So, so pretty. Like I said, I think this is one of the Jane Austen lines. Beautiful. And then last but not least, oh my goodness. We looked at this one. Did I know it had sparkles? No, I didn't, but I'm here for it. Can you see the sparkles? It's a light, no, but this fabric has like glitter sparkles in it. So fun. So this is the pink gingerbread cottage. Like I said, we looked at this one and I didn't even know with pink polka dot on the inside. So much fun. Sweet little floss keep. You open it up and this one's got the tag up top, which is fun. So those are so gorgeous. I love them so much. Fantastic. So I hope you go and give Carolyn's shop a follow, a checkout. See if there's a project bag you need to add to your collection. Oh, I forgot. I wanted to make sure to tell you what today's word of the day is. Remember, you're using the word in the crossword puzzle today. Your crossword puzzle should be complete if you are, have been playing along for the last 12 days. Are you excited? Because the grand prize box is bonkers. So you're going to use the word Family. Family is my favorite part of Christmas. All the things. I saved it for months for the finale, for the finish. It's my favorite. Family is the word of the day. So you're going to want to use the word family in your crossword puzzle for the grand prize entry. You're also going to want to use the word family down below in your YouTube video comment to be entered into the daily prize giveaways for today, which is one of the gorgeous project bags 
and a skein of that gorgeous yarn from Carrie. So Carolyn's project bag and a skein of yarn. Two great, awesome daily giveaways plus one of each of those is going to the grand prize. So remember, that's how you do it. If you have any questions, down below the crossword puzzle, once you get it filled on out, you're gonna go ahead and snap a picture of it with your phone and email it to me. The email is down below somewhere in this little gobbledygook. It gives you my email. Once you email it to me, and then I will start tagging those things and printing them out and throwing them into the grand prize box bundle situation and then on the 25th ish we'll have, just have to see how it all because but at least you have until the 25th it could be the 6th or the 7th just depends on how my family time works out but at least the 25th ish you have until then to enter in your to submit your crossword puzzle and that's how you're going to get entered into the grand prize now remember what i'm going to be doing 25th ish six, seven, sometime, you'll see there'll be a grand prize giveaway video that comes up on YouTube. So it will, I will tell you all about it on Instagram. So make sure you follow me on Instagram as well. But I wanted to, to let you know how it's going to work. So remember there, you've got daily giveaways, every video for the last 12 days, there's been a word of the day. You use the word in the bottom of the video, and that's how you're going to get entered into the daily giveaway. I'm going to shoot a giveaway video. It's going to be like a computer screen. You're going to watch the, the winners get pulled each day as they go using the word of the day. And so I'm going to pull as many daily winners for each day. So that's how we're going to announce the daily winners. And then again, the crossword puzzle is how you get entered into the grand prize. So once you submit your crossword puzzle, your name goes in the pot and then... I will draw a name out of a pot and you will see it'll be very fair and fun and everybody will see you'll see me draw the winner in order to win said prizes you have to watch the giveaway video see if your name was drawn for any of the dailies and or the grand prize you can only win one prize let me stop right there you can only win one prize so once you win if you win on day one you can't win on day five you win once Okay, so it's just gotta be fair, more fun, right? So you can only win once. So, you know, one through 12 is gonna get pulled first in the order, one through 12, and then we're gonna have the grand prize. So that's how that's gonna work. So um, once you watch the daily grand prize, or once you watch the giveaway video, then you'll contact me down below with my email and say, hi, my name is Susie, and I won this, this is the, and then I will get everything shipped out. Um, what I am going to plan on doing between now and then is have a couple videos showing you, reminding you again of some of the prizes that our generous small businesses have donated to the giveaways. I just want to get you excited about the businesses one last time, as well as make sure that you're like, oh wait, that's a good prize. Maybe I do want to go watch all the videos and get the words of the day and enter into win because what does it hurt? nothing and it's bonkers so i hope you've had fun i love 12 days of stitch Whiz. so much fun so much work but so much fun so and that last thing i did want to send out a special thank you to three more of my friends carol gail and roberta who utilized the buy me a coffee link down in my video description that i are helping with the shipping costs associated with these giveaways so yeah, that's going to be fun too, right? My post office is going to love me. It's going to be great. So thank you to my friends for utilizing that buy me a coffee link. And now without further ado, let's open up the Tiger Lily 12 Days of Stitch Miss Project Keeper. Are you excited? <laughs> me too. It's time. It's here. It's the 12 Days of Stitch Miss on December 12th coming to an end. It's day 12 of the project keeper now i don't want to spoil it for you we're going to open it we're going to open it but i'm going to give you a little hint right here right now before you excited when i was searching through my christmas sweaters as you've noticed i've had i love my christmas sweaters the bling the fun all the stuff i found this one and i about fell out of my chair because it's perfect mm -hmm. okay i'm just gonna say that all right friends are you ready Ah! Upside down. Okay. There she is. Yay. I love, I love poinsettia. So this is the exclusive. 
12 Days of Christmas Project Keeper for the advent of 2023. I've, I did go traditional. I know I had lots of friends thinking it was gonna be pink. And you know I wanted it to be pink. But I went classic Christmas, red and green, beautiful poinsettia. So that way it could be something you could use into January. Into, because it, it, yes, it's red and green. It's gorgeous. It's fun. It's Christmas. I loved it. It just made me happy. These pretty, pretty poinsettia flowers. I love it. And then you open it up. This is a Riley Blake fabric collection. Gorgeous. Beautiful holiday twig sprigs um the zippers nice chunky zippers as i love to do and then inside is pretty snowflakes and more snowflakes look it looks like little cross stitches so fun so this is the keeper for the 12 days of christmas advent from tiger lily i hope that you guys loved if you got the box i hope you've loved every 12 day I had so much fun putting it together and I appreciate every single one of you that ordered the box and that are just part of the Tiger Lily family. So I just want to say thank you. Thank you so much. So let's open up my other three ovens and then we'll wrap it up. All right. So this is the Legacy Fiber Arts. Woohoo! Day 12. I will in full disclosure. Look at this. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. That is right pretty pretty um i will have full disclosure i have opened up all the other mini skeins of a yummy yummy legacy i did open all 25 of them they're gorgeous i have them in a bag i'm trying to think what i'm going to do with them yet i'm sure i will let you know I want a regular floss to friday or um instagram i do plan on um casting on a couple things so i'm super excited about doing that so this is day 12 from colorado cross stitcher so this is her finale this was a 12 day advent. So like I said, Legacies was 25. I opened up the rest already. Oh, gorgeous. So this is a pair of blue tool. Cool. I, I don't, I'm not familiar with this brand, but they're very pretty. Nice blue with a nice pretty leather sheath. So that's fun. That's from Colorado Cross Stitcher. And then last but not least is my ginger quilter, which is this, right? Hmm. Hmm. Oh, goodness. Did she know? This is fantastic. It is a, like a Stanley dupe. But it's fabulous. It's gorgeous. It says the ginger quilter. But more importantly, it's Tiger Lily Pink. Sure is. Yes, ma'am. That is fantastic. What a fantastic finale to that 12 days of quilting from the ginger quilter. All right, friends. So that was the 12 days of Stitch Miss. We're wrapping it up. I had so much fun sharing 24 businesses with you. I hope you found something that you could follow, support, share, shop, all the things. So many fantastic businesses. I'm going to be spending the next year again looking for businesses again to share with you. As always, I've got my Keeper Club. I've got my Advent Box 2024. Yes, you've heard it first right here. It's coming back bigger and better, and I'm already working on it. So great for next year. So make sure you follow me here on YouTube if you want to get information or on Instagram. I'm there pretty regularly, but it is so much fun. So I just want to wish everyone here in my Stitchy family community a happy holidays, a Merry Christmas. Enjoy your family, your friends, your health, your love, all the things. I wish you a world of happiness. And until next time, friends, happy stitching.